If you enjoy this video, remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. With that being said, hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Matthew, and today we're doing another GXK figure, uh, pretty much figure comparison, except it's not really a comparison, it's more of a ranking video. Yeah, we're uh, ranking all four of the GXK repaints that have been released so far via the figure sets exclusive to Walmart. We're not e exactly comparing the figure sets like with the little cardstock pieces. Instead, we're judging the figures individually, which one I personally like from worst to best. Now, do keep in mind that this also taps into the original figure's quality, and I'll be also judging off like how well the sculpt is, how well the paint is, and especially like the added on paint since these are literally the original figures just with added on paint. So uh, with that being said, let's go on right to the video. Coming in at number four, and I think you're going to be probably surprised by this, but it's the Shimo. Why is it in the Shimo? Well, on my copy, I actually got a pretty major defect. See, if anyone has not watched my original review of this guy, or a well, girl, um, you should probably watch it, but basically, there's supposed to be a crud ton of blue on the underside of it. And instead of that, I get a very, very, very mild blue wash that's like barely visible. You can kind of see it throughout the tail and a bit of like the under section. I mean, you can primarily see it like underneath the jaw. But aside from that, you only get like three splotches of blues and that's it. That's basically all the paint I have on this thing, which sucks. Honestly, really sucks. Because I was hoping that I would get like a very good like <clears throat> blue paint application and I already have like a whole big ranch spleel in my original review how this is just not acceptable especially for an exclusive. I don't care if it's like $20, $25. It's still an exclusive sold at one place and you guys made batches where the paint is perfect on some but obviously not on others. So why mine turned out the way I did, it's a defect. There's no other way to put it. Plus, on the box, it showcases a ton of blue, but for the positives, at least, the original figure is obviously what showcases it best. We got the pretty good frostbite blast. Again, it's a little small, but works fine just well enough. The head mold looks pretty well done. Eyes are not the best, but they are pretty good. Teeth are individually, well, not sculpted. Kind of, they're actually kind of individually sculpted, but they're not individually painted. Tongue looks all right. And I do like where there is frost in color, that it does look pretty good. And the tail actually, again, still retains pretty good sculpted details. And the articulation is actually pretty well done. It almost makes me wish Godzilla was like this. But really, that's the original figures coming through. This repaint really doesn't do a lot as far as, like, being... A repaint like I probably wouldn't have gotten this if it was its own individual release like shim like iced shimo with frostbite blast if it was just advertised that put in one of those boxes no they're not even getting a purchase from me it's just it's basically lazy although I wouldn't really call it lazy because it the original figure again looked good but anyways that's enough with this figure um on to number three Number three, we have Scar King with Whip Slash, and again, um, nothing really like, it's not the same issue as Shimo. I actually got a pretty good paint job on mine, at least for what it is. I think that the paint job on this Scar King is actually a little better than what's found on the original, just because it adds a little bit more color variety, although I think I would have liked a little bit more of a dark rusty red as opposed to dooky brown. It just looks like he's been rolling in a bunch of gorilla crap. But with that being said, there's just one minor problem for me. My legs were warped in the box. And he has like a hard time standing. Like, okay, now he can literally only stand. Now I'm having difficulty standing him up. There, that's all he can stand. If I, like, blow on him, like, okay, he withstands my blow. Um, but, yeah, if I just do any sort of other movement with him, he's going to fall over. And this isn't a fault of the sculpt, because my original 
doesn't have that warp problem because both feet are perfectly flush to the ground. Which is kind of weird. I guess, again, maybe because it's in box, the figure kind of warps. That I can kind of forgive, but I think that's just kind of a bit of a problem. Also, the paint job on the forearms just suck. And the fact that there's pretty much no paint at the back just, again, kind of sucks. And also the whip, definitely feel like it could have used a bit more paint just aside from here and here. Because once you take it off, it just looks unfinished. And plus the entire backside is also not colored. So I think I would have liked a little bit more color from this thing. But again, it's got a better paint job than the original. Not by much. But again, still has everything about it that I like, except for the warp feet. Number two is going to have to be Kong with the Beast Glove and Heave. Now, as you can see, the repaint is a lot more, well, how you say, in the warm color category than the original one was. And honestly, I feel like that was something Scar King was missing, you know? I feel like he could have used some more yellows. Because now that I look at this, that's kind of like what he's missing. He's got the red, because his body is red. But I feel like they should have made him a little bit more yellow by mere comparison to him being a lot more brown because then again it doesn't really look like flames it just looks like a bunch of dookie but with that being said this kong is actually again probably my overall quality wise favorite of the bunch but there's a reason why he's not and we'll get to that in just a sec as you can see here again the sculpt is magnificently done for a ten dollar kong figure and the paint job is actually done really well, especially like on the outskirts of the body. Like we have some red lines, and we have some like yellow pecs, then we have some more like darker red, and then we have some red spots. And it looks really good. And the heave, although mine is a tad bit warped, not like Scar King's warped, so where it can't stand properly. It's still got like a ton of things going on for him. And I should also add Scar King's supposability was also pretty good. Kong's Posability really hasn't changed at all either, but I feel like what's my big problem is the fact that again, similar to Scar King, there's no paint on the back section of his body. Which, again, if you were to just take a picture right now and look at it, you'd probably mistake it for the or original Kong with Beast Glove. Like, let's be honest, this looks exactly like the original, because it is the original, just repainted. But, also, he didn't have his Beast Club in the scene that this movie seems trying to replicate, which is funny, because they're actually releasing, well, I think they have already released it, a Battle Axe Kong, which is like a retool of this one with a closed mouth sculpt without the Beast Club, and has the, the axe from the GVK line. But, on its own, it's a pretty alright, uh, release. I think that again, paint wise, it, it's definitely got like the funky aesthetic more so than the original one does, but again, this thing's pretty good. And number one, call me bias, I don't care. We have the Godzilla Evolved. Why is this guy my favorite? Because in almost every aspect, this thing is, in my opinion, my favorite Godzilla Evolved figure. Yeah, I said it. Maybe even more so than the neck of bootleg. But well, that remains to be seen. We'll do a figure comparison sometime later. But with that being said, this guy has just... Oh man, I guess it's just because I'm a sucker for blue colors. But this thing has exactly what Shimo should have came with. A ton of blues on the underside. Especially because like we got some dark blues for the armpits that we have everywhere else. This beautiful light blue spray. And then back here we have like... I know it's on the original, but just red and kind of like pink salmon type color and it just color wise this is definitely like the most color like the one that appeals to me the most of all the gxk figures i own this thing is just beautiful in all sense of the word my only like well okay let's actually continue with the positives beam still is nice sculpt is still all right for what it is eye paints and teeth paint still basic take it or leave it but I feel like my biggest problem, and really my only problem, is specifically the quality of the plastic. Because mine, that feels a lot thinner of plastic than my original. And it also, like, 
the legs are a tad bit loose, like they'll kind of go in and out. Plus, the rubbery pieces are a lot more malleable this time around, which kind of concerns me because I could literally just shear it off if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. But aside from that, that's really how good, like, of all the, uh, how good of a repaint this is. Like, this really captures my attention. In my opinion, it's almost as better, better than the original. And so, that's basically the end of this video. Um, that's oh, my whole ranking. I definitely think that of the four, three of them are at least good attempts at repaints. I think Chimo is obviously, like, the one, only one that's a bad repaint. Is it a bad figure? No. I've seen way worse of figures are concerned. It's not a good repaint because the only repaint stuff is here, 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 and a very mild wash down there. That's literally it. Now, you could make the argument, oh, all of them only have paint, new paint on the front of the bodies. And while it is true, Shimo had way more promised and didn't really deliver. But, again, all of them come with their own unique accessory, which is good. And I honestly think that, again, for like 20 25 bucks a set, you're walking away a pretty good happy camper. But with that being said, uh, I want to give you guys a huge thank you for watching this video. If you guys liked it, definitely subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, everyone.